Welcome back. We are still in our course Microwave Engineering based on the textbook Microwave Engineering by D.M. Guzar, 4th edition. Uh, now we are going to start with chapter 7, Bar Dividers and Direction Couplers, with you, Professor Ahmed Ahmed Atiyah from Microwave Engineering Department, Electronics Research Institute of Egypt. Uh, at the beginning, uh, let us see what we use in low frequency circuits. In low frequency circuits, if we want to divide the signal between two lines, we simply draw simple two lines, for example, like this. This can be used either for dividing the signal between the two buses, or in other words, to add the two signals from the two buses to a single bus. Uh, in microwave engineering, it is not so simple to make such a sample of line as a bar divider or bar combiner, but we should have to study a circuit which can make this function. On the other hand, for example, if you are interested in measuring uh, the current passing through a circuit, it is simply to break the circuit and to add the ammeter in series with the circuit. Such simple configuration is not suitable for microwave engineering because any change in the circuit in this case will introduce additional microcircuit lines and additional equivalent components which will change completely the performance of uh, the circuit. Another example, for example, if we are interested in measuring uh, the voltage between two terminals, it was so simply uh, to add uh, two props in parallel to uh, these two terminals. In microwave engineering, these two props actually are equivalent to a barrel transmission line connected to uh, these two terminals, which also change all the parameters or all the properties of the circuit. So, uh, in the case of uh, the need to combine power or to divide the power in microwave engineering, we need power combiner or power dividers. Also, if we need to take a sample. Uh, from the signal to be measured, it would be required to introduce what is called a uh, coupler. Coupler is that, uh, an element or microwave component that transfers the signal from one point to another point and couple some part of the power to a third terminal. This third terminal is used for measurements. So we don't need to add additional probes like in uh, the case in low frequency circuit like this. Uh, so we say that bar dividers and directional couplers are passive microwave components which are used for bar divisions or bar combiners. As an example for bar dividers and bar combiners, uh, here we have uh, a complete bar divider or bar combiner uh, with uh, in the connector, uh, regardless what is inside this box, uh, here uh, the bar from the board, this board is divided between board one and board two. Uh, maybe inside this box we can find something like a T coupler. This is some example of T coupler. This T coupler. Uh, it cannot be just uh, my, uh, a strip line or micro strip line or a printed line uh, just divided. It should be calculated such that the characteristic impedance of the input transmission line should be 50 ohms and the characteristic impedance of the output line should be 50 ohms and we should have some mindering like this to match the output to the input. In addition, we need a matching section. Uh, this matching section is usually uh, depending on uh, the operating frequency such that the length of the matching section is around 
lambda by 4 where lambda here is a guided wavelength and this matching section should have an impedance which is nearly z naught uh, over square root 2 so the characteristic impedance of this matching section is 35 ohm all of this stuff is required just for dividing this signal from one volt to two volts so it is not so simple like in uh, low frequency circuits here is an example for a power divider circuit the complete power divider circuits including uh, the connectors this actually what can be inside this uh, box? Another example for bar dividers in the case of waveguides, uh, the E-plane waveguide and the H-plane uh, waveguide. Here is the E-plane waveguide and here is the H-plane waveguide. We can divide it in the H-plane, assuming that the dominant mode have an electric field in this way and the magnetic field in this way. So in the magnetic field, in the direction of the magnetic field, we divided the signal to this way and to this way. Now, the electric field in this case, in this direction, in the dominant mode, and when it reached to this neck, for example, it is divided between this side and this side. So we are calling this E plane waveguide divider and this H plane waveguide divider. Uh, in bar division, an input signal is divided into two or more output signals. Almost all these examples, we are dividing the input signal into two signals. But we can also find power divider with more than two signals. Maybe we can find power divider for two, three, four, five signals, and so on. So in power divisions, an input signal is divided into two or more output signals of lesser power. This means that the input power here is divided between the two output ports. So the power at port 2 is less than the power at port 1, and the power at port 3 is less than the power at port 1. While the power combiner, on the other hand, power combining, accepts two or more input signals, in this case we have a power from port 2 and power from port 3 to be added in uh, port 1. So uh, power combiner accepts two or more input signals and combines them to an output power. Uh, three board networks, actually almost of all these examples are three board networks. One, two, three. So three board networks take the form of T junction. As an example, this is T junction. This and T junction. And other power dividers while four port networks uh, take the form of direction coupler, that's what we are going to talk about it in the next slide and hybrid. So, uh, bar dividers or three port networks take the form of T junctions, four board take the form of directional coupler. Uh, bar dividers uh, usually provide in phase output signal. This means that if I have uh, a signal from port 1 it is divided between port 2 and port 3 uh, with the same power and with the same phase so this is what we are talking bar dividers usually provide in phase output signal with an equal bar divisions so we have divided the input signal to two equal components with the same phase shift uh, but Unequal bar division, the ratio are also possible. So, assuming that we are not interested in uh, dividing the power such that the input power here, 3 uh, over 4 of the power going from port 2 and only 1 over 4 of the power going from 3 is possible. So, unequal bar division ratios are also possible. Also, we can change the phase between the power going from uh, port 2 to port 3. So, by designing the bar divider, we can also control uh, the phase shift. Actually, in the case of uh, the H field uh, T junction here, uh, there is a phase shift between uh, board 2 and board 3 with about 180 degrees. But in the E plane, uh, sorry, uh, in the E plane, in the E plane, there is a phase shift 180 degrees. But in the H plane, the phase shift is zero. So it is not 
always that the power division has equal amplitude and the same phase, it can be used for unequal amplitude or the phase shift between the uh, output uh, powers of the two uh, output powers or two output uh, connectors. Okay. Uh, on the other hand, uh, the direction coupler, as we said, can be for terminal uh, board or for board, for board network. Here, an example for direction coupler. Actually, this direction coupler is used for transmitting the power from board 1 to board 2. And a sample of the forward power is captured by port 3. On the other hand, a sample of the reflective power is captured by port 4. So, in this case, if we assume that here we have the source and here we have the load, we can capture or we can capture a sample of the forward power from port 3 and we can capture a sample of the backward power from port 4. So, by dividing the power at port 4, Board 3, we can calculate the reflection coefficient of the load connected to this source. So, this is a very simple example of what we are calling reflectometer. We can use such uh, direction coupler as a meter for the reflection coefficient by taking a sample of the input power and sample of the reflected power, and by dividing the value of the sample of the reflected power on the sample of the input power, we can obtain. Uh, the reflection coefficient. Uh, the power or uh, the coupler or divider may have three boards or four boards or more and may be ideally lossless. Uh, so, in the ideal case, uh, the power divider and direction coupler are lossless. But in practical case, some losses are included inside uh, the power divider or the direction coupler, such as that not all the input power reach to uh, the load, but some of them can be uh, dissipated uh, inside uh, the waveband. Uh, direction couplers can be designed for arbitrary power divisions. In the case of direction coupler, we can design for any value of the power division. Uh, as an example, if we assume that uh, the power division is 20 dB, for example, this means that if we have input power here, uh, 1 watt, in this case, there is only 1 over 100 going from this board and 0.99 of the board goes from this board. So, the ratio between the transmitted signal to the sampled signal is 20 dB or 10 to the power 2. Okay? Uh, hybrid junction uh, usually have equal power division and hyperjunction. This is an example of hyperjunction and this is another example of hyperjunction. This is a printed hyperjunction. It can be uh, presented in terms of microstrip line or strip line. And this is another example for hyperjunction based on waveguide sections. Uh, hyperjunctions have the advantage that uh, they have either 90 degrees or 180 degrees phase shift between the output ports. So, in the case of hybrid junction, we are not only dividing the power, we are dividing the power with a specific phase shift between the output ports. This has a very important application, uh, for example, in uh, antenna beam forming uh, networks. Uh, it has very important application in uh, the case of mixers uh, and other uh, microwave and antenna applications. So, uh, generally speaking, uh, by using bar dividers and uh, direction coupler, uh, we are going to divide the input signal into two or three or more uh, boards with a specific amplitude and a specific phase shift between uh, the output ports. This is very important for many applications in microwave uh, circuits and antenna applications. And actually also it is uh, mainly used for microwave uh, measurements. This was a brief introduction about uh, what is meant by 
uh, power dividers, power combiners, and direction coupler. Uh, in the following lectures, uh, we are going to study uh, some of these uh, power dividers, direction couplers uh, in more detail. See you in the next lecture.